Hello friends. In the previous session, we have seen the properties of exponential circuits, exponential response of the RC circuits, I'm sorry, uh, which was the source weak case. So we'll start with some simple numericals in this particular session. So I've take what I've taken one like one particular problem for this session. So let us see what is this problem. Clearly, why it is called a source-free circuit is that because it's the current source, initially the current source is feeding to the uh, capacitor. See, you can see that through this particular path, the capacitor is getting the current, some particular current, I don't know what is the current, and it will get uh, charged to its full value, and it will reach its steady state condition, and uh, we have to find the value of Vc of t for t greater than zero. Now, when the switch closes, this becomes a short circuit, and whatever is the current will start circulating through only this particular path. Therefore, the capacitor will not get any more amount of charge actually. So, what we can do is that we can analyze this problem step by step so that we get a clear understanding. So, we know that Vc of t is equal to Vc of 0 e power minus t by tau where tau is equal to r equivalent into c. Okay. So, our objective to solve this problem is finding the value of Vc0 and finding the value of tau. Tau in case you are finding r equivalent because c is already given you have to find the value of r equivalent. So, Vc0. So, like the case of inductor where we took IL0 to be equal to IL0 minus which was equal to IL0 plus. Similarly, we have to take here Vc0 is equal to Vc0 plus equal to Vc0 minus. Why? Because the induct sorry, the capacitor will not allow an instantaneous change in voltage after switching. So, let's go back in time. Let's go back in time in the sense let us go before t greater than t before <coughs> t equal to 0. So, this is the circuit for t less than 0 and precisely we are at t equal to 0 minus. We are at this point of time. So, the circuit will be in its steady state condition and in this steady state condition and in this particular steady state condition the capacitor will be acting as an open circuit for DC sources. The capacitor is an open circuit for DC. Alright, so the capacitor is already an open circuit. So let me just paste this circuit here now. Alright, uh, let me just select this circuit first. Yeah. So, and here I can paste this circuit. Now, uh, let us just move this circuit up a little bit so that the explanation will be clear. Alright, yeah, this is good. Now, because the circuit is in its steady state condition and the capacitor is acting as an open circuit, what I can do is that I can replace this capacitor section by an open circuit. And at that point, the capacitor has charged to, let's say, Vc0 minus. Alright, this is the voltage to which the capacitor has charged. And this is the point at t is equal to 0 minus. Now, what is this Vc0 minus? For that, let us look at the switching position also. So, the switching position at t equal to 0, it is closing, right? At t is equal to 0, it is closing. That means before t equal to 0, it was an open condition. So, that is also considered here. Now, basically, you have to find the value of Vc0 minus, alright? So, no current will be flowing through this part, right? This part, this area here, there is no going to be no current because it's an open circuit. That means whatever voltage is here, the same is going to get reflected here. So therefore, I can just put this voltage to be equal to Vc0 minus. If you apply a KVL here and see, you can clearly understand that this particular voltage will be equal to this particular voltage, all right? Now, this is a simple, uh, easy application of KCL and some voltage solving. Okay, so this is an open circuit here. This entire structure is an open circuit. So let me erase this area also here. Okay, I have erased the entire thing. Now all these things should work inside your mind actually. You need not draw this continuously. So this is 30 ohms. Okay, so we have to find what is the value of this particular current. And that current into 30 ohm will be giving you the value of IC VC0 minus. So it's a simple application of current division. So this let me call this current as I. 
this current i will be equal to 8 amperes this is 8 amperes multiplied by the resistance in the other ohm other resistance 200 divided by total resistance in this case it is not only the 30 ohm it is 30 plus 20 because 30 and 20 are in series so 8 into 200 divided by 50 so what does that value get us okay so that value is i so vc0 minus will be equal to 8 into 200 divided by 50 multiplied by 30 and this is equal to 192 volts therefore first part of the problem is over vc0 minus we have already got it is 192 volts now let us find the value of r equivalent now so here let me find the value of r equivalent now r equivalent you have to find at t greater than 0 right you have to find it at t greater than 0 and as seen by the capacitor so let me paste the circuit here once again paste yeah i pasted the circuit here once again so let us put the conditions here now this particular <coughs> this particular switch is going to get closed here right it is getting closed okay so this is closed at t equal t greater than 0 and you have to find the equivalent resistance as seen by the capacitor so you remove the capacitor and as usual you put the arrow this is the r equivalent here now be careful while doing such problems and another thing is that you have to remove the current source you have to kill the sources right before finding the r equivalent so you remove the r equivalent. so this is the same procedure as uh, finding the thevenin equal thevenin resistance only, only thing is that in that earlier cases you didn't have the switching conditions here you have to consider the switching after t equal to 0 now let us find the r equivalent here now you can clearly see this is a short circuit here right so anything which is coming here this entire area resistance is going to be immaterial because whatever current is flowing here it will never come in this path it will never come here it will only go through this short circuit path so this entire uh, resistance you can eliminate so the only resistance here will be r equivalent will be 24 ohms all right therefore the value of vc of t will be equal to this 192 all right 192 into e power minus t divided by 24 which is the r equivalent and the capacitance value is 1 by 3 millifarad so just convert it into the uh, uh, si units here so now let us find the next part of the question the next part of the question was at what time at what time vc is equal to 0.1 vc naught all right so you know that vc value is equal to 192 e power minus t by 24 into 1 by 3 into 10 power minus 3 this is already known volts so you have to find at what time this value is equal to 0.1 of vc naught vc naught is 192 okay so 192 e power minus t this will become 8 8 into 10 power minus 3 equal to 0 0.1 into 192 all right if you do a little bit of calculation here which i am not going to do but i have already done that so this t value here you will be getting as 18.421 millisecond i have taken some time in explaining this problem because i want you to understand it properly so as inductors we dealt with inductors problem to find the value of vc0 minus which is equal to vc0 plus which is equal to vc not vc0 vc of 0 you go back in time in fact you have to go t less than 0 at t equal to 0 minus you find the value of vc uh, 0 minus by either node analysis or mesh analysis or simple resistance solving in this case we had done a simple resistance solving all right so you get vc not now then you have to find its value of time constant that is equal to r equivalent into c so r equivalent you have to find at t greater than 0 so apply your switching conditions so apply your switching conditions so here also you have to apply your switching conditions apply your switching conditions and and in case of capacitors the circuit at 0 minus is under the steady state so the capacitor will be an open circuit for DC 
these properties you have to remember okay so any problem you can solve with very much uh, <coughs> in an easy way because capacitor problems are much more in, uh, easier than inductor problem because in most of the cases there will be an open circuit and finally the finding the value voltages are very easy rather than finding the current so i hope you have enjoyed this lecture so please like share and subscribe if you like this video and i'll see you in the next lecture thank you